Hi, this is Atomic Allen from Mad Science of Southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. We don't always just do science, sometimes we do magic. And I have here a magic wand. This is a very special magic wand. I got this one from Harry Potter himself. This is one that he doesn't tell you about in the movies because it's so magic. I've taken a bottle of water and I've filled it up, I've taken a bottle and I've filled it up with water and I've floated a ketchup packet in it. This is one of those ketchup packets that maybe you get at a McDonald's or a Burger King or one of those fast food restaurants. And it has just a little bit of air in it that kind of keeps it buoyant, keeps it floating. And I need that because I want to be able to play with this in the bottle without touching it. But I, so for instance, what I can do, take my magic wand. First I need to make a connection with the ketchup packet. Oh, there we go. Now I've got the connection. I'll just hold that there on the bottom for a bit. Or oh, you don't think the magic wand is doing it? If I take the wand away, it floats back up to the surface. Do I need the wand? No, I don't need the wand. I could also just use my fingers. If I rub them on my coat, I can just pull the ketchup. If I rub them on my coat, I can just pull the ketchup packet down. Oh no. I have to rub them on my hair. That's right, I rub them on my hair. And now I can pull the ketchup packet down with just my fingers. Perfect. I can just hold that right there. Put my fingers down. And I take my fingers away. And it floats back up to the top. But it doesn't always work. You, you have to rub it on your hair. And then and it works just perfectly. Do you think it's my fingers that did it? Uh, what could be making that go up and down? I don't think it's my fingers. I don't think it's a magic wand. I don't think it's magic at all. Remember I told you the ketchup packet has just a little bit of air in it? And that's what makes it float. If I could take that air and compress it, squeeze it, and make it much smaller, then the air would be denser than the water, and it would sink. So what I do is I squeeze the bottle with my fingers. When I squeeze the bottle, that squeezes the air on the top of that ketchup packet, makes it denser than water, and it falls. Now, if I squeeze it just a little bit, it'll fall just a little bit. And I can actually make it float almost anywhere in the bottle. Squeeze a little bit more, it goes down a little bit more. As a matter of fact, this is called a Cartesian diver. And there's a unit called a Cartesian barometer. And it has balls in it that float. And they float at different levels depending on the barometric pressure. So you can tell whether we're going to have a high pressure system or a low pressure system based on where that is within the ball. That's your science lesson for today. I'm Atomic Allen with Mad Science of Southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Thanks for watching.